my journey into entrepreneurship wasn't really a planned one. I happened to be in a business meeting where somebody offered me a job. The conversation kind of went along the lines of, Hayley, why don't you come and work for me and set up an insurance company for me in Spain? And I kind of said, thank you for that offer. But actually, I'm not looking for a job. Where I really want is an investment to set up my own business here in the UK. That random conversation actually led to an introduction to my first investors, who within 20 minutes had agreed to invest a million pounds to set up GoCompare.com. My journey actually started 20 years ago with the creation of Confuse.com and the original vision for that business was for consumers to find all their insurance needs in one place, but it was very price driven. Literally 100% of people that would buy a policy would buy the cheapest policy. Now by the time I had the opportunity to create Go Compare, I wanted to change how that operated. So Go Compare was all about the consumer buying the right product at the right price, not necessarily the cheapest policy. So actually very quickly within launching Go Compare, only 50% of people would buy the cheapest price. So when I started Go Compare in 2006, my husband was the only stay-at-home dad so he would rock up at school gates with all the other mums and be a lone male figure there. It's been phenomenal actually to see how that's changed over the years. And, and actually the amount of men now that will say to me, oh, that is brilliant. I wish I had the opportunity to stay at home and look after my kids and, and do what you guys have been able to do. We just found what worked for us as a family. I had the most wonderful female mentor that I worked with called Kate Armstrong. She was one of the original founders of Admiral and we worked together on creating Confuse.com. She was fierce, um, you know, and I learned so much from her and I will always be very grateful for having her in my life. She is now one of my best friends. There's definitely not been a single moment where I've thought I've made it and I, I will never get to that point. I'm extremely proud of what I have done and what I've achieved. I'm extremely proud of, of new things that I'm working on now, but I forever will continue to learn and develop. I think the key thing driving me to success was just sheer bloody mindedness. Um, you know, I really wanted to show my previous employers what I was capable of. Literally, I wanted to stick my two fingers up for them and say, look at what you could have had. To anybody setting up a business, my first tip would be, be very clear on your vision, know what you're looking to achieve and go for it. My second tip would be, don't be afraid to reinvent yourself. Tip three would be, surround yourself with brilliant people. Being a woman in business is just awesome and you really should just embrace it and enjoy the crazy journey that's ahead of you. Figure out what you want your life to look like, shape your business around that and just bloody well go for it.